Hi, I'm Kim William Gordon, and this is a future moment. As we get deeper towards the fourth industrial age, it's important for us to understand how we got here. The communications age actually erupted in the 1400s when Gutenberg invented the printing press and thence caused all of humanity to need to be literate and intelligent and educated. That simple invention laid the foundation and the groundwork for the first industrial age. The first industrial age was the age in which we invented steam engines. Now think about this. Prior to the steam engine, we were at the whims of the wind on our ocean-going vessels. We had no power in any cities. We had no power anywhere. But with the simple invention of the steam engine, suddenly we can ply across the oceans and we put engines everywhere. That industrial revolution helped us get to the next industrial revolution in which we finally harnessed the power of electricity. Electricity lit up the planet. It allowed us to lay a grid in which everyone was connected and that we could use these powerful resources anywhere within the community. It was a remarkable time of innovation. We invented hundreds of thousands of things because we could plug them in. The third industrial revolution was a logical extension of the second in which we began to use electricity for a lot of things that we never anticipated that we would originally and one of them was computers. And then we wired the computers together. And we used the enhanced power of those computers to calculate things that were unimaginable even five, 10, or 20 years prior. And all of this groundwork, first industrial, second industrial, third industrial revolution, brought us to where we are today, the fourth industrial revolution. We have harnessed the power of genetics. We have harnessed the power of quantum computing. We are anticipating mining the asteroids and the moon and Mars. We are at the precipice of some of the most innovative thinking that the human race has ever seen. People talk about the PC revolution, and I always tell them, we haven't seen a firecracker go off yet. Wait until you see what happens in the next 20 years. First, we use machines, then we wear machines, and then we become machines. Please join us in the conversation. This is your future.